Hey, man, he brought Ben Belair. I'll come back at you with another edition of this Boomer's Logic. Hey, man, uh, I just want to comment on this George Takai thing. I just ran across it. It's old. It seems to be old. Many of you probably heard of it. I just sent uh, a clip of it to most of y'all in Messenger. Um, but just take a look at it. But before I get into this... Um, if you haven't already, like, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notification, all that stuff, you know what to do. So, George Takai, for, for y'all who don't know who he is, he's the Star Trek dude, um, the one who played, uh, I can't remember who he played, he's the, he's the Asian dude that was on, on the Enterprise. Anyway, he's a gump, he's a homosexual, um, and this ball juggler, nut hugger, man lover, had the audacity, and this is what pisses me off about this. This is why I made this impromptu video. I'm taking the day off. I got the next couple of days off. But this made me so furious that I stopped my morning messages because it came across my thing. And I'm looking at it. I said, man, are you serious? It ain't none of these uh, uh, LBGTQ woke social activists say nothing about this. This man, and y'all seen the video, most of you, came out and said because uh, Clarence Thomas uh, voted, you know, to have the uh, Roe versus Wade thing uh, taken, removed, switched. He called the man a black face fool, something like that, black face something. I mean, listen, that infuriated me so bad, man, because you have had these jokers who stand up and... He called him a uh, called him a blackface clown, a clown in blackface. This is what he called him, a clown in blackface. First off, go go juggle somebody's nuts in your mouth. First off, you disrespectful gay Asian. How about that? Um, and then you got these social social justice woke warriors out there who won't say anything about this. You ain't go for his head. You know what I'm saying? But did you let somebody call these homosexuals running around here doing a uh, homosexual just a drag queen story time you'll justify that but you won't speak on this not only was this racist the man called him a black face clown just disrespected your people but you, but you know of course you're gay so I'm not black I'm gay furious about this man Furious because I just had interaction and I'll leave the person nameless with one of these SJWs, these consciously woke uh, uh, goofballs who is constantly attacking religion. You know, don't know the first thing about religion, but you go out your way to attack re the uh, uh, religion, people who have faith and standards, you know. But you don't, it, you ain't talking nothing about this. You ain't posting none of this on your on your page, and ridiculing this dude, ripping this dude for what he said about Clarence Thomas. Oh, oh, it's because Clarence Thomas is is pro choice. He's pro life. So because he stands for something, y'all can say whatever y'all want to say about him. You know what I'm saying? Is if he's not in lockstep with y'all ideologies and philosophies and opinions, he can get ripped. Don't matter. Just like the white girl came out on social media and called the man a nigga. You know, this is this y'all, y'all, hey man. I can't believe this dude said that. And then you you social socially woke black people won't even say anything about it. Black lives matter, black this, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and, and we gotta stand, we gotta. <laughs> I can't believe this here, man. Anyway, man, I just wanted to uh, shoot this past y'all, man, because I didn't want it to, you know, go underneath anybody's radar. Like I say, I think I'm behind on this, but I just wanted to put it out there. And if you haven't seen it, just Google um, George Takai calls Clarence Thomas a blackface clown. Like I say, I sent it to most of y'all, um, a clown in blackface. And it'll pop right up. It'll pop right up. So, man, I appreciate the time this morning, man. I love y'all. Like I said, I'm taking a couple days off. Um, just doing my thing around the house, getting my office in order, and getting a few other things in order. So, love y'all, man, and I'll catch y'all on the next one.